Hello. I've gotten some feedback that I mentioned that occasionally you'll get into a situation on the boss waves on Pier 93 where you have a boss that gets aggressive and you can't kill it because it'll end the wave. And I didn't actually show footage of what I do in those cases. So I thought I'd make a quick video, just a little four minute video, of me doing this wave five where I happen to get Joe Farrow as the boss. Now Joe Farrow, despite how large he is, will vault up the boxes and make it up to the upper area. And because of this, he will get aggressive and approach me. So what I like to do is run with the flashbang in this case. And I just kite him up and down the hallway. And that's pretty much the end of the strategy. So he'll start down at the opposite end of the hallway. I'm down in the normal end where people typically farm. And I just hang out here. Now in this clip I'm using the the blind fire technique a lot and I should really be poking out here to kind of get him to shoot his flamethrower a bit to kind of slow him down and you'll see later on as the the wave progresses I do a bit more of the, the peeking out to get him to try to shoot his flamethrower at me because if he's shooting his flamethrower he's typically not moving too much as much as he would move when he's moving like normally By the way, he slowly advances, just like the minigun enemies would. And when he gets too close, I just hit him with a flashbang sticky bomb, and I run down to the other end. Usually there's three or four enemies that have already spawned at the opposite end, and I take them out, and then I take cover, and try to get some kills on the opposite end. Ultimately, what this ends up costing me is somewhere around two or three thousand shade tech. So I would say typically if I get Joe Farrow on this wave or if I get aggressive enemies on the wave 10 during the boss wave and they don't stay downstairs like I showed in the Pier 93 video, I know that I'll probably have to do wave 11 if not wave 12 to kind of finish out the, the caches. And on my recent live stream where I'm playing around with Lone Star, I also get Joe Farrow when I'm in Powerhouse. And you can reference that point as well if you want to kind of see what I do on Powerhouse to avoid Joe Farrow. The strategy isn't perfect, but it's better than getting caught on fire. Now, sometimes in the past I've tried to use the Immunizer healing box instead of the Ammo healing box, but I found that in Maybe, maybe it doesn't happen still, but I found that when they shoot the flamethrower at me, that it'll typically destroy my box, and then I'll catch on fire, and then the strategy is, is done with. So Joe Farrell will really only catch you on fire if you let him hit you with his flamethrower for about two full seconds. So you can usually take a little bit here and there without having to worry about it too much. And I'm so concentrated on moving up and down the hallway that I actually forget the boss timer. But luckily I kill him in time. So that is how I deal with bosses on wave 10 or wave 5 who are aggressive and who you can't kill without ending the wave prematurely. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.